What makes this royal's jaw look so unusual? Well, it's a result of genetics. The genes are kind of like a blueberry muffin recipe. They give this cell instruction on all of the building blocks for a protein to then go and give us our appearance. See, what complicates things somewhat is that almost every one of these genes has two different ones of these recipes, which we call alleles. So how does your body then know which one of them to follow? Well, that's where genetic dominance comes in, which means that the the gene that actually is fighting harder to be expressed ends up being the recipe being read to produce that blueberry muffin, which can generally be a good thing because some of these recessive traits actually can cause disease, meaning that if there's two of them around, then they can be read. In royal families who wanted to keep their bloodline clean and you've got cousins marrying cousins, then they're more likely to have these recessive conditions that leads to things like hemophilia or Habsburg jaw. Did you know about this?